The gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Paulson, is recognized for a minute and a half. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentlewoman for yielding. And let me first start off uh, by saying that I have great respect for my colleagues, uh, both Representative Emmer and Representative Nolan, and uh, the rest of our delegation, Representative McCollum included. And this has been an ongoing debate. I just want to make sure that uh, folks understand and know and can appreciate, and I know the gentleman is going to withdraw the amendment, hundreds of thousands of people have been weighing in on this ongoing public process, and their comments should not be ignored. That's the bottom line. Nor should we be ignoring a science-based assessment of the best management practices that are important for one of Minnesota's and the country's national treasures. We should be open to new types of mining in Minnesota, but only when those necessarily environmental reviews are met. I refer to the Boundary Waters as Minnesota's Yellowstone, and there's a reason for that. It's got a national perspective with hundreds of thousands of Americans visiting it each and every year, whether it's canoeing or fishing, and that's where some of my best memories in my life have actually taken place. So I want to make sure we, owing, we are owing it to ourselves and future generations to rely on science before undertaking any activity that would disrupt this fragile ecosystem. And so I want to thank the gentleman for their, the gentlewoman for her, uh, for yielding some time. Thank my colleagues for their ongoing discussion on this issue, and I will yield back. The gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Paulson.